Hi, I'm Nikki with Tough Shed and we're here with Kyle, a new Tough Shed customer. And we're just here in his backyard checking out the new Tough Shed building, seeing how it's coming together and seeing how Kyle's going to use it. And it's been fast. I mean, they were here early. I mean, early. We, we had breakfast together, basically. Um, but when they showed up, uh, I started to get excited. I've always wanted a Tough Shed. Yeah. Just because it's a manly thing, yeah. I think. You know, you say to yourself, I need a shed. Um, but really what it was about was the backyard mm -hmm. you know we entertain back here it's a big backyard we have kids we have parties during the summer we have christmas parties during the winter mm -hmm. so we're constantly using it so i i i, I tend to have a lot of stuff just laying around yeah it um, happens. well yeah <laughs> some people call it clutter i call it just being dirty yeah um <laughs> so as, as we kind of look take a look around the backyard you can see that there's just no space yeah. See, this is on the side of my house right here, and these okay. are just, these are extra chairs that when we have parties, you know, they just sort of sit up against the house. Mm -hmm. This is full of tools and paint mm -hmm. and toys for a six-year-old. Yes. And it just, you know, it looks lazy. You know, it looks uh, disorganized. And I have a mower that I don't even use anymore that I want to use, but the backyard's too big to mow, and I'm lazy. <laughs> um, so it's just, it, it comes down to wanting to keep everything together. And yeah. Tough Shed provides that because it allows you to have a space, not only a manly space <laughs> or a womanly space, either way, um, for your stuff. Chairs that you would normally leave out here during summertime. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden they can go in there. Right. Uh, Christmas lights, holiday, Thanksgiving, anything that you put out here like these pumpkins that my daughter loves, <laughs> this all can go in the shed. Yeah. Power cords, you know, like I said, chairs, tables, ladders, um, hoses. <laughs> so I, these are these are things that I would normally just keep down in the basement, and then you just end up stacking and stacking. Right, and, stacking. and digging through right. the season. And you never yeah. want to go down there. Oh, no. You're like, oh, I have to do that again. And then, of course, the garage, which to me is one of my biggest pet peeves because I like to keep it really clean, but during the summer, my wife gets to park in here, mm -hmm. and I don't. <laughs> Bicycles, golf clubs, ladders, shovels, cords, you name it, all the sort of Life stuff style. that you use and then like I said I this is my old kitchen from 15 years ago that I moved in here just to have storage so right. paint cans and trash bags and things that I don't even know what they are that I've probably <laughs> never used yes. um, but it's you're constantly hammers and nails it's just packed with stuff mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense right here. so that's what I think that's the most important part about Tough Shed is all of a sudden I've got this building that it looks like my house. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously done the right way, very yes. professionally done. And you get things like pegboards, you yes. know, so I can hang all that stuff. Right, and not worry about just shoving it on and yeah, You're not just stacking in there. No. Like you go in there and people are like, wow, this is nice. It can stay organized. Yeah. So wheelbarrows, it's hockey equipment, you know. Yeah. We have uh, hockey nets. Ooh. And then it's all about location, which I was telling you earlier. You know, you come back here into the backyard and you see this big old, you know, space and you're like, wow. And then you see toys laying around and rakes and whatever. Uh -huh. And then you look over here and you've got this beautiful building that you can store so much in. Mm -hmm. And they're, when they got here, they were like, okay, how do you want to do this? Yes. Um, and I was like, you tell me. <laughs> I, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so it was sort of like a real nice creative process yeah. about how many shelves do you want? Mm -hmm. How much space in between the shelves? How do you want your windows? Uh -huh. What color do you want your door? And so while this is the color of my house, yeah. gray and black, I wanted a little pop and a little style. So yes. we did a red barn door. It's a great place to add a little yeah. To, yeah, to add a little flair and it, it makes it pop. And then as you can see, he's putting the shelves in. So it gives you all sorts of space. You can space them out however you want. Mm -hmm. And then the cork board on the side and obviously the easy entryway and the, the door is nice and it almost looks like a like a little playhouse which my six-year-old thinks it's going to be yes which I it's mean, not going to be you can always dream <laughs> yeah but it's um the whole process has been fun i mean I, I can't tell you how you know quickly they respond to everything the staff was was outstanding and constantly going over numbers and paperwork and dates and times does this work for you right. how can we make this more convenient right. for you want to make sure that you're a part of it and that you know exactly what's happening when yeah and it to be honest it's going to sound weird but it's for me it's a dream come true just because i've always wanted my own tough shed yeah it makes me feel 
like a man, which I'm clearly not. <laughs> at uh, least you can say that you right. played a part in it. Yeah, so when people come over to fix things here at the house, I can go, you can just go in the shed. Just All that stuff's there. in there. <laughs> but it's been, a, it's been a great process. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yes, of course. Well, this has been a great, great day for this, and we're excited to see the finished product of the Tough Shed.